Good morning, everyone. I'm going to try to talk quiet so we don't get disturbed very quickly. Uh, okay, thank you, Daisy. You're already loud. What happened? At this point, right now, it is 16. Thursday, I believe. And for tomorrow, I believe I don't have any video, which is for Friday. So, I picked this small project. I showed you this one before. Uh, Catherine started this one to do. It's the book, kind of like a staircase through the forest. And she plays in here just a couple different colors right on the bottom. That's all she started probably like a year ago, or may maybe even longer. So it's not a new canvas anymore. So obviously I consider this already whip. So I will finish this one and I pick small one. My plan broken for this week totally because of the lots of you already knew about my skunk situation that I am faster than little baby skunk. So I was going to post that cute story about the skunk on Wednesday cross stitch, but I will change my mind since he's still in my house. Uh, I will add that video in this video. I shoot a little bit about my skunky video. Right now he just fell asleep. Actually it's 12.30 now, so he's sleeping for about maybe 10 minutes. All morning he was crying, looking for mama, and he wants me to hold. If I put him in a box, he yell. If I hold him in my hands, he kind of snuggling and he wants to play and uh, kind of sit in my hands, so I couldn't do nothing. So now he's sleeping. Hopefully he will sleep for a while now. And <clears throat> let me um, put in here those few little clips that I created about skunk and then well because I mentioned up there that we are going to cross stitch so ignore that we are going to diamond paint and the video will be much sooner so watch that video now and then I'm gonna tell you a story about skunky hey my friends oh, did I wake you up I'm sorry you hear the noises he right now stays in a big box and he starts to make this noises squeaky and running around the box because he wanted me to pick him up and snuggle. Now he like he's here in my heartbeat and he sleeps like his tail snuggle to his face. Yeah, very very cute. Oh, look at this little paw, his nails. Hi, Lucky. His name is Lucky. Because he lucky he found us. Unfortunately, we can't keep him. Because there is a law in Canada. We not allowed this thing him. Because we were going to take him to the vet and give him surgery. So to take his stinky stuff away give him some shots so he don't have any rabies and take care of him and be part of our family but we're not allowed to keep him so we did call to the human society place and they say no you cannot do that since I think they said to my husband since 1999 or something uh, you're not allowed to, to do this to the wild animal so he really, he like us, but we have to let him go. We will take him to the rescue place. And I will tell you more story about his family. Yeah, he's such a, such a cutie. Look at the pink nose. It's not adorable. This little... Manicures of his 
where they are, where they are, where's the camera? Oh, look at this, his mini. Look at this little paw. It's not adorable. He's sleeping, he's comfy now. He had some formula, some food. So he's really, his belly full. But very mm, often he he nibbling on my fingers. He, he tried to find mama's milk. So sometimes he can like flip himself on the side and try to find some milk. Oh dear, look at the stretching. Oh, look how he stretches. Hey, put your tail down. Hide the tiny. Dear, look how cute. He's a baby. He's about three, four weeks. What they told me at the store, I think. Close to it. There. Nice snuggle. He no wants to be in a box. He wants to cuddle. So I'm gonna put him on my chest and he will sleep a little bit. Time from time we go in on a grass to play. Couple more hours we're gonna have some lunch or second breakfast. It's still early. What's right now? Almost 10 o'clock in the morning. He already have some cottage cheese and he had some formula so he's stuffed. We have to wash his whiskers. He's a little cheesy stuck on it. Dear, look at this bungle of joy. It's not adorable. I just love the little tiny nose. He don't have a teeth yet. So sometimes he nibble on my finger. <laughs> Gorgeous stripes on his back. Oh, kind of over flushing. Oh, this way, see? See those stripes? Funny. It's almost like a bunny ears if we look this way. Yeah. Debbie, cheers to you. She said that his name should be Lucky. And I thought, OMG, that is such a perfect name. He lucky to found us. Because some of his siblings wasn't that lucky. Alright. Let's go cross stitch and I will tell you some story about his family. And maybe by the time you're watching my cross stitch video, I will tell you what happened to this little guy because we are pre recording video. Look at this paw. That's it, he's gonna sleep now like this. And I feel sorry to put them put him on a box because I just love the way he snuggled. And I pet him like this and he love it. He nice and quiet. When I put him on a box, he's running around like wee wee wee. <laughs> Squeaking, he wants to get out. He wants me to hold him. Even when I put him on a grass, he running towards my hand. He really think I'm his mama. I'm sad that we have to let him go, that we cannot distinct him. But he was attacking me yesterday. I was doing flowers and I was wearing a green garden gloves. And I think he was scared of those gloves and he was jumping towards me with those gloves put his tail up and jumping towards me. That was so cute. Catherine was laughing. Yeah. That's it. He's sleeping. All right. <laughs> this cheesy face. I have to wipe his face. Gorgeous, gorgeous baby. He actually very clean. He didn't have any fleas. Oh, look at the nose. Look at the, oh, the nose. Dirty with cheese. Okay, we have to go wash. Hi, Lucky. What are you complaining about? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come 
here. We have a formula here. I warm up in the microwave so it's nice and warm. Come on, come on, come on. No, not, not under. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Hey, go inside. Okay, hold on. We have to show him. <laughs> we have to show him where. Because he's going to go right with his paw or even spill it. Okay, hold on. I will... Okay, there. Uh-huh. Find it. You're a big boy. Oh, that's my boy. Oh. I tried to feed him with the um, syringe, but he don't know how. He didn't really um, figure out how to use it. But when I put on this little a fruit dish cup from fruits or from the applesauce. Look at it, he go with his front paw right inside of the dish and he's munching. After this he will be quiet and sleep for a while. So adorable. Look at this little tail. Yeah, so he tell me when he wants to snuggle and he wants to eat. He making those cute noises. See, he's already slowing down. Belly full. That's his second meal already. Well, actually third. He, first in the morning he had cottage cheese then we top it up with formula and now a few hours later a little bit more formula how you doing little buddy how you doing lucky is your belly okay now how's your belly okay See, I'm still working on it. Are you done? Let's go wipe your paw now. Nope, a little bit more. <laughs> so cute. Too bad I cannot keep him. Definitely full now. Then I will hold him. He will nibble on my finger to snuggle like to mom and fall asleep. Then I will put him in his box. I think you're full. Wanna come out? Hey. <laughs> Daisy? Hi Daisy, who's in here? Who's in here, girl? Who's there? Little baby Lucky? I think he's full. Okay, okay, don't don't sniff the camera, buddy. Oh, not buddy, you're Daisy, sorry. Oh, my knee. Okay. Are you down up there? <laughs> But Lucky to Daisy Fur last night, and Lucky was trying to find a, a nipple on Daisy Fur. He was thinking it's a mama. What? 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 Don't turn the camera. Hey. Okay, are we done here? All your whiskers, Milky. Look at that. <laughs> okay, people, we have to go clean up. Look at those pa. All this milk. Formula.
Okay, looks like we like to lick the apple. Can bite yet. Like the cottage cheese. Hi, little stinker. Come on, here. Hi. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Okay, I don't think he can eat a little bit apple. No more? You wanna come to mama? You wanna come to mama? Go baby. You already know me, huh? You recognize my voice? Yes, you're so precious. Oh, Daisy, what you doing? Oh my god, Daisy just farted. <laughs> okay, time to go outside. Is it time to go outside? She farted. Unbelievable. Alright, so let me prepare some diamonds. Okay, I'm not going to use this one. I like to use this one. I hope you like my little baby skunk. I think I will pick in here, my friends. I see this white one and this should be my background in here. So maybe I will start from here. 22, 22. Yes, that's the one that I need. We will do one by one. Oh, we'll see, maybe even use multiplacer, not sure yet. So yes, Catherine started this canvas and never managed to finish. She lost her interest in diamond painting back then. Uh, but now she's doing it. She's still working on her Halloween canvas that she kind of abandoned it for a while. And I did finish today my Daisy, my golden retriever canvas. So I already posted a picture on my Instagram. Uh, Alright, so which one pen should I use? Maybe just one of my... Um, let's get something... Oh! Let's use my new one, just a minute. This one, because I wanted to see if it will be comfortable to work with these gems. They just so beautiful, so sparkle. I love this kind of pens. So if you like to order them, uh, of course you can. And I'm going to show you two more, just a minute two more what kind what kind you can have uh, see like this one so this one is like a smooth soft layer of maybe even vinyl or something this one just a kind of wrap I don't know also smooth so I wanted to see like this one is very comfortable this too so I wanted to see how these gems will feel on my fingers if um, because of the gems, I would say it's a little bit heavier, not as much. And let me put some wax inside and we're going to do one by one. All right. And I will tell you a story. Everything will happen, how we got this little baby skunk. So let me zoom. I will have to put probably on my canvas and just now wanna turn it off. We are going to do slowly set up. Okay. This sh this should be good. Um and what else? Oh we what else? I remember recently we did with you unboxing of these little tiny magnets. So that's another thing that you can use for your diamond painting or cross stitch. You can use this for cross stitch or you can put this under your canvas somewhere in here. Lift this up and kind of 
you see how I can put this on the top so it's holding your paper okay I will have to do a little bit further so we're going to move together with this magnet further to open my area at least like that okay see that's where magnet gonna stay right there so it's also very uh, comfortable to have this little tiny magnet or stitching or diamond painting obviously okay let's try I didn't put any washi tape I should do now maybe or I should do later we'll see okay I can tell right now that I put too much wax so I have to scrub it up a little bit and I like to start actually from this side to go towards me that way I will see better placement when I point to myself so the story about little stinker skunky at this point we have him what is it three nights or two nights three nights three nights I think my husband cut grass and originally I thought he found him on our backyard but he found him on a backyard behind our fence where it's like a parkway sometimes you see me playing up there with my dogs so he saw my husband moving a trimmer not the machine grass cutter because he would probably run him over but he was just trimming the edges and skunk was running towards him and kind of like trying to attack you know <laughs> the cuteness thing so he picked him up opened my house door says not come here hurry up so my initial thought was he found a bunny because one time he found three or four bunny was in our yard right on the top like the grass uh, didn't even dig the hole because the summer was very very hot and the ground was very tough so the bunny literally uh, make uh, babies like almost like on the top of the grass and just cover with some fluff so this time I thought he found also bunny so I went outside and OMG the little baby raccoon not raccoon skunk I never ever see this close baby skunk I saw before a skunk somewhere was it a parkway or zoo or something I don't know but they was a distinct skunk like they did have a surgery on him but since 1999 in Canada we not allowed to fix them to remove their glands of stink stinkiness and we also not allowed to have them as a pet so I was trying because if I would be allowed we could fix him and he would live with us but I think the point about that law did not allow them to fix because well can you imagine if some people find a little baby they do surgery for him to get rid of his thinkiness which is part how they protect themselves in trying to scare um, enemy away so if you remove that and then later on in a few years you decide that you have enough of fun and you want to get rid of that skunk to let him go in a wild first of all the skunk would be dramatized because he probably would not know how to take care of now himself and also now he will have no protection for himself if some big animal would run towards him or people he would not have his stinky scary thing so maybe that is why in Canada we created this law that we're not allowed to do that and I totally appreciate but here's the story next day 
my neighbor said that one house over from me and there's a uh, some truck for liquidation like animals uh, was the animal control or some kind of society of animals whatever she said the truck was there so I said well I wonder if maybe they got his family or mother or something so I told my husband go and ask what is going on if they have a um, raccoons um, or skunks or maybe squirrels see what's going on so he won't talk to the other our new neighbor who just recently moved to our street she said yeah they came up there and there is a nest of skunks under the shed and they didn't have mom only babies so two babies was looks like they were sick so they took two babies and left three other babies up there uh, just in case maybe mother would show up and they told uh, uh, told people not to feed baby skunks so they didn't show up like three okay th this part of the canvas band that so it's not very wiggle line like it looks like it's just um, canvas a little bit uh, bended that's why it looks kind of wiggle um, okay, where were I? So they left us three babies up there. So obviously nobody feed them because they got the order from those um, society, whatever, how you call it? Animal society, whatever. And three days left later, like they didn't even show up to check on those animals, nothing. So one baby, another baby died because obviously it was probably starving, hungry. So uh, the lady says, okay, we are, we called them. She, she went to look actually and was, I say, do you, you have a baby? She said, yes, we have a three baby skunks. Two of them they took away because it was they were too sick, so now three babies up there. And I say, can you go check on them if they're still okay or what? So she went check and say, oh, two is okay, but one died. So I was, it was making me upset, right? Because they told them not to feed them. And three days later, what do you expect baby to do if mother don't show up? And they don't have a teeth yet. So obviously they cannot eat any vegetables and they only like drinking milk probably yet. So that's make me upset. So she called, well, I called the service to, so they can pick, pick them up. And I say, you know what? I do not trust this company. If they let little one die without providing any food, I'm not gonna give them my skunky and thank you to <laughs> Debbie she named my skunky Lucky and I really love the <laughs> name so I call him Lucky now because he is lucky he's still alive he lucky that he got to the person who love wild animals and I understand that would be, there is a dangerous, what if he has a rabies, right? Doesn't look like though. He looks, uh, he act normal, like would be normal baby. Then I thought, okay, if I get infected and I'm die, then it's gonna be I die by saving orphans. So that's the story I will stick to. So I decided, okay, I am not going to give it to them, my baby, because they also told me that that's the company that doesn't really save, nurture, or like a nursery. They are the one that just to pick it up to kill. 
So it's like they would be like a dead animal or sick animal, so that's why they just pick it up. So I'm just like, no way, I'm going with my skunk and hounds. He is not going with this people, just for in case they see them, because we only like one house over, which is semi house, so it's basically like, you know, next house. Um, so yesterday and Wednesday, uh, sharing my PFF, my admin in a Facebook group, she gave me a link to, um, not, not far away in here, <coughs> city, that have a team, like a team rescue wild animal. <coughs> <coughs> so we called them yesterday, but nobody picked up the phone. Uh, we left the message. So the message uh, was, um, if you call in, if you call in like about the water animals or fish or birds or something like that, like they do not take care of that kind of stuff, but they do take care of like if you call in of squirrels or raccoons or um, skunks, so they would take care of those. So we left message that we have a little baby skunk and we left message was uh, about maybe 7 o'clock already p.m. and they they were open to 8 I believe. So we did not receive any response yet. So my baby were sleeping one more time over in my house and he was so loud last night oh my god he was screaming screaming scratching a box she was trying to get out and i'm literally sleeping on the sofa to take care of him because you know cat two dogs um and he was so annoying that i grabbed that box i covered with blanket and I put on my deck outside for the night. So I thought, okay, if he was kind of loud, if mother would be somewhere around, she would hear him and rescue. So in the morning, I go, he's sleeping in a box, nice and comfy, snuggle in a towel, whatever I make him. So I brought him back in the house and he was keeping me busy all morning and i'm just like wow how can i record any video i can't do anything with him that sucks so finally he fell asleep so i'm just like taking a pictures of him taking a cute videos posting on my facebook my instagram and my tiktok few of them it's just a cute and adorable and I feel so sorry that you know he kind of get used to, it to me and oh, I took him this like before I started this video I took him outside to play in the grass a little bit uh, in a shady area because it's going to be another yesterday it was so hot and ridiculous it was like no air to breathe and today again um, my computer showing like a red alert for the high heat so we went a little bit in a shady area it's a little bit windy today so it's a more air doesn't feel like too hot yet so he was playing playing but he was keep, keep running to my hand he wants me to snuggle him <laughs> So that's how I become a foster mom for the little baby skunk. He is so cute. If he wake up to the end of this video, I might show you one more of him right in here, but hopefully he will sleep now for at least like three, four hours because yesterday he fell asleep at 10 in the morning and he was sleeping to oh my god maybe like uh, two o'clock or something like he was sleeping all day almost 
so yeah that was cute because I think they're supposed to sleep at day right and walk at night so he was having a good sleep but last night was rough it was rough I try I try <laughs> I thought okay maybe he hungry I give him some more food some formula for cottage cheese but no he was still trying to scratch box to get out of it he wants to be in my hand he's adorable Yes, it worry me that he is a skunk, and skunk can have a rubies that you cannot see at first. Um, hopefully everything okay. Alright, hopefully we will survive. So I have to say that this pan is absolutely gorgeous, but after a while when you diamond paint you will see like a dent a little bit in here. So it probably will be hurting a little bit your fingers after a while. But it's beautiful. That's all I can say. Try to hold them maybe. I don't know. It's not very comfortable to hold this low. Usually I like to hold somewhere like in here. But uh, even I hold in this diamonds looks like glue to this part really hard. I don't know what they use for the glue but they don't slide because you would expect to diamonds move around if this is just regular glue so so far you know it's, it's comfortable because it's light pen but the other one is more softer on your fingers so it's, it's up to you if you like to order or not it's something good for me you know for the sake of the video of display for the Instagram just to make a pretty thing uh, for my viewers, for you all. By the way, when I check last night, we needed somewhere, I think like about, uh, was it 40 or 50 subscribers to hit 20k. So if you like my videos and you're always watching them, but you forgot to subscribe, I would love you to do that. Let's hit that mark of 20,000. That's my first first big, uh, uh, how would I say, goal. When I started YouTube, my first goal was to get 100, then 500. Then was 1,000. After 1,000, my goal was to reach 5,000, then 10, and just go on, go on. Uh, first was like by hundreds, then by thousands, right? Uh, now when I will reach 20,000, my next goal will be, well, I will go slow for 25 but my biggest goal is to reach the middle point which is 50,000 that will be amazing number of friends all over the world when I reach the number so if you wish to invite your friends everybody welcome well I hope you had fun of the skunky story stinky how should we call video stinky cuteness or stinky <laughs> I don't know lucky stink <laughs> that would be cute By the way, I do not have name of the store of where I got this canvas from because this was years and years ago and years and years ago I did not write down on my canvas name of the store because I did not have too many stores to remember 
uh, when I had like maybe you know five or four I remember each canvas from who so this one most likely was from fan cell and I have no idea if it's still available or not but what I'm thinking about this one Catherine is graduating next week from school and if I can finish this canvas quickly she can give this as a gift to her teacher what do you think that would be nice gift for a teacher books I think with the books you never go wrong gift for a teacher because he is an awesome teacher kids love him My son used to like him as well. He's like a cool one. Don't have too many, I don't know, just he's having a fun and teasing kids and cracking the jokes together with them. So he's not like that one, the strict teacher. He's a fun one. Diamonds, beautiful, and this diamonds all in a Ziploc bags. It was originally shopped like this, so that's why it was easy for me just to grab and start to work on it. So I believe we will manage maybe to go to the campsite this weekend. Now with the skunk situation, I don't know what to do. Hopefully today when my husband get home, we will call again to the company who take care of actually wild animals and releasing them later back into the wild because I'm not agree to just cancel his life with this little guy. He is adorable. He really think I'm his mama probably. Sometimes he nibble on my hand, curled up and fell asleep. He's like he trying to find mama milk and uh, just uh, a, a sucking like on my um, skin a little bit and rubbing it with his paw like you know he would push the milk and then he fell asleep. Cute. Sad. Catherine almost, fell, almost started to cry because she say, oh, he missing his mama. Yes, of course, he missing his mama. What can you do? Okay, a little bit more, because you will have some video yeah already um, with my little lucky skunky so at um, this point I'm not sure how long this video will be definitely more than probably 30 minutes so have fun So yes, with the skunk, he broke my plans a little bit. So my apology that I did not upload video that I wanted to upload, some tutorials that I was really excited about. He really took my time away. I had to take care of a little baby. His life more important for me than my video, you know. So my apology that you were hoping to see those tutorials. Am I still will manage? If, if my skunky go to the rescue today, I might will be able to upload one more video. But if not, I still, you know, uh, well, I have to watch him because if he wake up, he's gonna be loud and I cannot record like that. I cannot let him cry. So I will have to literally hold him in my hands.
So I guess tonight I will work more on this canvas. And by the way, I think I will also show you. Oh no, can I show you? Oh yeah, I still have a daisy picture in here. Uh, I can show you my custom on the very, very end. I thought I already took downstairs, but then I remember I was going to show you. Yeah, I really want to try that uh, sealant, um, the material that we just review with you in the bottle of diamond paint and sealer. Wanna see how that work. Maybe I will use that on Daisy's picture to make sure my diamonds stay all the way good. Okay, one more this piece and we will finish for this one. Hopefully you didn't fall asleep with my quiet, monotone, <laughs> uh, kind of like same quiet voice. I could be a good storyteller before bed, bedtime teller, no, uh, bedtime storyteller. I used to make up story for my kids all the time they fall asleep. Everything go into the story, whatever get on my brain. Or sometimes I ask my kids, we want a story to be about Bunny. Okay, Bunny this once upon a time and keep going imagination. All right. Here is how we created quickly. Well, I have to say we did a good job already with you. So let me show you little bit of this diamonds quality I think pretty good see my lines not bad right they are kind of straight yeah they just have canvas a little bit bended up there to create the lines so I like this little guy he's a happy say hello people okay now we are going to take him out and close. All right, so here it is. Let me go and show you a Daisy's diamond painting. I think she looks fantastic in here. That uh, this flowers, the background, it's the one that sometimes when I record video review, I have my backdrop on my table for a review of diamond paintings or cross stitch. So Catherine was holding this back drop like vertical and we sit Daisy next to her. She did not want it to photograph. She was keep running away. So this was the lucky shot. She actually was sit for a few seconds. And I have to say, they did a good job on colors in here. They pick nice colors. The only thing, like I mentioned before, is if I would give you the full review after. Uh, brown colors like patches of brown colors it was very difficult canvas to read because the symbols for example 8 and 9 oh if I can show you in here 8 and 9 they kind of dark background brown and I could not distinguish them in here I was like even through the magnifier glass I could not see if that was an 8 or 9, so that was very difficult, that's why Catherine gave up on this to finish, but after all, when it's done, I think she looked gorgeous, if I go backwards a little bit, sorry for my squeaky floor, I think she looked good, so now I have to frame her, so maybe I will use in here, uh, I roll her with my roller, mm, I press hard, but I don't know, because some part I did, some part Catherine did, and this diamond painting was laying around for a long time, so I don't know the consistency of the glue, if it's still good or not, is this one pushed or not? Looks like pushed. Sometimes feel, uh, maybe some diamonds is higher than the other one. No, this one looks like this one is coming out. 
maybe some diamonds bigger than the other one. Like the quality of the diamonds looks good. If I can show you like this. Like purple one. Uh, and a light color like in here. But I think I will seal because some diamonds I push them and they a little bit coming out. So I don't know because uh, Catherine did half of the right. When I was doing, I don't know, I don't feel it. Feels, feels flat everything. Oh, maybe something. No, it just looks like diamonds, a little bit taller. Okay, so I think I will seal this one with that uh, particular liquid bottle that we will review with you. So we will see together how this will work. If canvas will be still flexible after that or will create like big stiffness, no idea. So we will experiment. We will experiment. I hope you like this video today. It's a cuteness overload today. Have a good day, everyone. See you tomorrow.